Good afternoon, guys. It's working, bringing you a quick update on Bitcoin. Hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. Uh, actually, it's morning here on the East Coast of the United States. So uh, wherever you are, guys, hope you guys are having a wonderful day, I should say. We're looking at Bitcoin to the U.S. dollar. This is the four-hour chart on Bitfinex, guys. And uh, I apologize for not getting you an update yesterday. It was an extremely busy day, but I'm back in the saddle today. And on my last update, I was warning you guys about this rising wedge pattern, telling you that we may see a breakdown in price. Um, that's exactly what we ended up seeing was this breakdown prices up here on my last update um, and of course we saw this breakdown right out of this rising wedge pattern as expected um, the good news is we didn't get nearly the breakdown that we could have had that's a bullish indication that we found support about 6800 guys it's a very bullish indication actually um, and as long as this 6750 supports hold, support holds I believe that uh, we can remain uh, bullish in the short term at least um, one of the things that I'm watching here um, I am still counting my Elliott count is kind of a one two this being all part Part of a three and I don't think we've seen the top of that three wave yet um, but I do think that we're looking at a sub wave four within uh, with a one more wave five to go up to complete wave three uh, I do believe this is an ABC correction um, and if that's the case guys I'm seeing a possible another wave down in other words I'm counting this as an a B and C possibly possibly now I know some people are counting it um, kind of this as the ABC and saying that this was the bottom that is very possible um, although I'm, I, I think that that isn't very relative in relation to the structure, um, I think a little more likely count would be an ABC where we have one more wave down um, to test this prior low here or test this support at 6750. So we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. I could be wrong. Either way, guys, um, we are trading within this zone between this very critical uh, resistance area between 6030 and 6160. Um, this is a very critical zone that price has to get above um, if it is going to continue to the upside and to the downside. This 675. 650 has to hold. If 6750 breaks, I think we're going to fall very quickly to 6540 in my opinion and possibly lower, but at least 6540 if that does break in my opinion. For now, we're trading within that range. Um, if we do end up coming into the upside, guys, we need to break above 6160. If price does break above 6160, I think it'll be a very quick rise to at least 7500. There's not a lot of resistance between 6160. Let's call it 6200, so that's a good psychological. Um, so we may find resistance at 6200, but if price can get above 6200, Zero, zero, I think it'll be a very quick rise to 7,500 in my opinion, guys. Looking at our indicators, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Looking at our indicators, this is the four hour. We can see that the uh, four hour histogram um, is kind of moving sideways, trending down here on the MACD and signal line, but kind of moving more sideways than anything, giving us no real direction which way price is going to go. Histogram is starting to trend down on the daily. MACD line is starting to curl over. Doesn't mean it can't reverse course, just means we're starting to see possible curling over, possible return reversal, and we have to wait and see whether or not it plays out that way. One of the things that I'm, um, I'm cautiously optimistic on, if we come in here and we look at the weekly histogram and the weekly MACD, we can see that the signal line and MACD line are about to cross. If that does cross, if the histogram crosses into bullish territory, guys, that's going to be an extremely bullish indication and probably be a, a big fat, uh, excuse me, guys, a big fat buy signal. So keep your eye on that histogram, on that weekly histogram, uh, that weekly MACD, I should say, because if that does cross into bullish territory, guys, I do think that's a very good indication of possible um, a short-term bull run to follow. <clears throat> excuse me, guys. Uh, looking at our uh, RSI sitting at about neutral. This is on the four hour. Uh, also same with the stock sitting at about neutral. We come over here and we look at our uh, moving up. Oh, that's EOS. Sorry about that. Um, looking at our uh, moving averages. We can see this is on the daily price just broke below the 50 day uh, moving average. That's a bearish sign guys. We need to see it back above the 50 day moving average. Um, but as long as this 55 day EMA holds as support then I do, I will remain uh, short term bullish. If it does break below the 55 day EMA guys, I still, I think there's a possibility that it may break down much further. If we look at the four hour chart, we can see price broke below the 21 day EMA. It needs to close above the 21 day EMA in my opinion for this bullish momentum to continue. If we check our long positions, Long positions are not stacking at all. They're just kind of, I mean, very, very light, slightly, but in the big picture, guys, not really stacking much at all, moving more sideways than anything. However, if we look at short positions, short positions have just been getting clobbered over the last 48 to 72 hours, guys. They are still, um, still somewhat stacked to the upside, guys, but just, you know, a lot of these have gotten liquidated. A lot of people are getting out of their shorts. Um, and <clears throat> normally I would say that that might be an indication that price is going to start to fall. However, as I said, we're not seeing longs rise with it. So that, that basically levels the playing field and lets the market move it in, that, in a more organic way. So we're going to have to wait. And so in other words, market makers don't really have a play as far as taking out stops in one direction or another. So we can see the market move organically. And ideally, we'd like to see volume flood into the market.
market, which would push drive up price up uh, dramatically. However, if we do end up seeing long start to stack, and if these short positions continue to fall off, if that does happen, guys, then at that point we can expect price to probably fall along with it. However, as long as as long as uh, as long as shorts um, or excuse me, as long as uh, longs continue to move sideways, um, it's going to be a more organic move um, with regard to price. And you know, it, it could really go in either direction. All we can do is react. Now, if I wanted to enter a long position, I would be looking at possibly uh, stacking in buy orders down here between about um, 6,800 and 6,750, somewhere thereabouts, expecting a strong bounce off that point, maybe a, a couple hundred dollar scalp. However, knowing that if that does break, price could drop much, much, much lower. So I'd have a very tight stop loss in there, sitting at about possibly um, 6,700, somewhere thereabouts. Um, a very tight stop loss, in my opinion, to the upside. What I'm going to be watching for um, is a possible retest of this zone. If it does end up breaking out, as I said, a quick rise to 7,500. However, if it does break down, we could see it drop quickly back and continue to trade within this range. So continuing to alternate um, quick scalps to the upside and a quick scalp to the downside um, would be um, um, one way to possibly make a little bit of money in this market. However, knowing that a breakout in one direction or another could quickly snowball. So I'd have my stop losses very, very tight if you are going to play that game, knowing that it is a very risky game, guys, to play. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap my uh, analysis there. I know it's not the analysis you want to hear. I know it's not, uh, you know, bullish or bearish. And um, all we can do at this point, guys, is to just react to price. I'm not one of these analysts that's going to pump it to you and tell you it's going to the moon or tell you it's going to fall. I'm going to tell you exactly what the chart are telling you and what the charts are telling me at the moment is I can see a play in either direction as long as we're bouncing within this zone. As soon as we break out of this zone, got one of the, uh, to the up or to the downside, then it's going to, in my opinion, snowball in, in whatever direction it does end up breaking. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it there. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, guys, I would appreciate it if you give me an upvote or a like. Uh, just lets me know you want me to continue to make these videos. Until next time, guys, please trade safe. Take care of yourselves. This is working. Signing out.